My name is Baker Beam. I'm Fred No. My name is Freddie No. I'm the sixth generation. Seventh generation. Eighth generation Beam Distiller. We've all been right here in Central Kentucky for 225 years. We're passing it along from father to son from the very beginning with old Jacob, who started making whiskey back in 1795 up the road at Hardin Creek. I was born and raised right here at the Beam plant here at Claremont. My dad started out from barrel one here at the plant. My family's been in the bourbon business since Kentucky was not a state, and the United States was just a baby of a country. I'd say that I, it's just been natural to me. I didn't know anything else. I didn't know what my, in my time of a school that taught you how to make whiskey, but we did it, I guess you'd say, by the seat of our pants. Growing up, I never got pressure to come into this business, so it's always been my choice. But I think when you grow up around a facility um, and a group of, of employees that embrace you as their family, as we do here at Beam, it makes it very easy to come to work here and continue on that tradition. This is the heart of bourbon country. Corn, water, and wood come together to make the world's number one bourbon here at Jim Beam. If you look at the most uh, awarded bourbons, they come from right here in central Kentucky. The people here have been making it for over 200 years. Well, I think the reason that whiskey is made in this area, we have limestone rock. Water runs through it. That's seasoned, I'll call it, seasons of water to where it's real, real palatable. You know, if you're gonna make bourbon, you have to have corn. It brings the sweetness to the bourbon. The more summers and winters that the whiskey spends in those barrels in these rack houses in Kentucky, the more influence of the flavor and also the deeper and darker, richer colors that you get. When you get a great bourbon, when you put your nose into the glass, number one, you're gonna get big, rich vanilla notes that come from, you know, the aging in those charred white oak barrels. And when you swallow it, the finish, we kind of call that the Kentucky hug, the warmth that goes down inside your body and it just holds you for a second. And then when you exhale, just that nice, pleasant feeling. By law, it has to be aged a minimum of two years to be called Kentucky Straight Bourbon. For our flagship product, Jim Beam, we age it twice that long, four years. We have other products um, like Knob Creek that age for nine years. See, I'm really proud of what we've done. It makes me feel great to know that when I do sit back and enjoy a drink, the legacy that was started by Jacob Beam in 1795, you know, I've done my part to carry this tradition on. It's great to be able to work with my dad on a day-to-day -day basis, really bounce ideas off of each other, because as he begins to hand the torch to me to make sure that I'm, I'm gathering as much information from not only him, but our forefathers before him. Now that my son is coming into the business, you know, it's a proud feeling to know that the legacy of our family is going to continue on into the future. It's great to be able to know that my children have the same opportunity as me to carry on this tradition. The Beam family makes bourbon, that's what we do. We've been doing a pretty good job at it and we're not going anyplace else and we'll be doing it well into the future, I think.